Hey, what's up? My name is Toby and be very welcome to the second development vlog. My goal is to build exciting AR experiences without having any prior knowledge. So the only way I learn is doing online tutorials and courses, as well as by trial and error. As you saw in the little intro sequence, I've been doing some stuff in the last two weeks and I had failures as well as successes, but I definitely learned a lot. Last time I focused a lot on the technical requirements of AR development. For this video, however, my goal was to find a nice idea that the experience is gonna be about. I remember seeing this video from about five years ago of an Apple presentation where there was some kind of interactive movie scene. This kind of top-down view where you could experience a film scene however you liked. And this is really similar to the thing that I want to build. I see an application that includes multiple stories from different settings, different time zones, different characters. And all those stories should be a combination of the cinematic experience in the presentation plus gameplay elements of an action-adventure in the likes of Uncharted or Batman Arkham series. I'm also quite intrigued by simulation slash RTS games in the likes of Jurassic World Evolution, Stronghold or Age of Empires. So I just want to pursue both of those ideas and see what's gonna be better and maybe we can also combine them in any kind of way. What's also important and what I've been thinking about in the last weeks is the way of input, the user experience. Because on conventional systems like a computer or a PlayStation, there's a very clear way how to control things. But in augmented reality, especially on a phone, I feel that there's not a gold standard yet. As can be seen in the last episode, I talked a lot about hand tracking. Trying hand tracking about the last two weeks, however, I gotta say that I'm not so sure that this is the input system that we should go for in the first place. During the last weeks, I ran into several issues, which are first the performance. So when I used hand tracking and my frames per second were around 20 without anything else happening. And I did look into other plugins like MediaPipe, um, that is an AI library created by Google, which is also partly integrated into the Lightship uh, SDK, but I didn't get it to work yet. The second thing was the development flow. So I had to do a new build every time I wanted to test something. And as you can see, I did about 120 builds in the last six weeks, which sums up about 20 hours of waiting time. Not to say that it really breaks the flow if you're developing something. So that's really not that great. So hand tracking generally is really nice, especially when you are on a headset. But how would it be on the phone? Hand tracking can be very, very nice depending on what you're doing but it also can be annoying, can be a deal breaker for a great experience. I came to the conclusion to postpone hand tracking a bit and care a bit more about the general experience and also about input systems. As soon as I knew that it's gonna be some kind of action adventure slash simulation experience, I thought about two things, which could be a cursor based experience and one that uses the classical on-screen controls when you, for example, steer a character. So these are the things I'm doing right now. Figuring out how the input system should work, as well as building a first scene. Another experience I want to share with you guys is that I've been able to test out the MetaQuest Pro, which is one of the latest and greatest XR devices out there. It looks very futuristic and it feels very high-end. Also the performance made quite a jump. The first thing I tried out was the AR slash see-through mode. And what impressed me immediately was the way that the hands as well as the surrounding and the environment was tracked and recognized by the system. However, I also got to say that the see-through quality was really not at a point where I would be comfortable using this for longer than 30 minutes or maybe an hour. But still very interesting to see what current technology is capable of. Personally, I'm waiting with great excitement on the AR headset that Apple is supposedly developing and releasing this year. All right, so that's it for today's development vlog. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.